the vastness of space and the space between us. I share my bed with someone who feels like a thousand miles or more away from me, like I'm in the North Pole and you are in Zimbabwe. The constellations look so different looking from here. In the dark lunar areas, I find it hard to find you. The greater the distance between me and myself, so it grows between us two, too. In the cradle of the stars, I cover my head as if to protect my mind, as if to protect myself from my mind. Yet what help does it do, really? I remove the weight from my eyes and I see the beautiful silver-studded blue butterflies reminding me that one day, me too, I'll fly away. When my wings are strong enough to support me and the winds are strong enough to lift me. I call you my boo, you call me my bee. We are like two honeybees, you and me, you would always say. Yet there are differences that you are a wild bee while I'm the caged one. I'll make honey while you are flying free. For any social animal, keeping one's distance comes with a cost. I cannot see with my naked eye, but I have to shut my eyes in order to see you. You are in your own thoughts. So much neural activity. Thinking comes in waves for you. It excites you. I am dancing on my own in the celestial field of my own, in the brief entanglement of the life of my own. What's the real distance between us? I am an untamed infinity, the kind you never asked for. In the heart of the black hole, I find the deepest level of reality. In these uncharted territories, you keep your distance. In the lunar shadowlands, I find it hard to find you, even with my eyes closed. Distance is a construct, yet I cannot deconstruct it alone. My intuition deceives me at times. There's an echo of the sky that is still here. There's an echo of the long lost stars. There's an echo of you inside of me. Is the time ever ripe to leave you? Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it's what's kept me alive. Thank you.